Former Republican Governor Paul LePage today quietly confirmed that he wants his old job back. His campaign launched a new website for his bid to unseat the Democratic incumbent Janet Mills next year. It promises to be a heavyweight showdown, and it is not unprecedented. We have seen this kind of race in Maine before. We wish we'd seen how bad things were earlier, but uh, we didn't yeah. realize because we believed your press releases, which we shouldn't it, have done. Isn't it a fair statement? The hospitals were all accredited when I left. This is what it looked like in 1990 with two governors in the race. Democrat Joe Brennan failed in his effort to take the job back from his successor, Republican John McKernan. Now the stage is set for another epic battle. But anyone hoping for fireworks today was likely disappointed. Former Governor Paul LePage's countdown clock quietly ticked to zero, leaving behind just a new web page, seeking donations, and featuring an introductory video shot 10 years ago before his first run for governor. LePage's campaign previews a likely line of attack against Governor Mills, who has seen Maine get a huge infusion of federal COVID relief money. In a statement, LePage says, we cannot continue to look to Washington for bailouts, subsidies, or leadership. The Mills campaign issued its own statement, saying Governor Mills has delivered for Maine people time and again, and she's just getting started. Our New Center Maine political brew analyst talked about a Mills-LePage matchup this weekend. Conservative radio host Ray Richardson is close to Paul LePage and says the normally bombastic former governor is laser focused on the issues. You know, he doesn't need to do this. He's coming back because he believes we were in a moment when he left office where the state was really creating an environment where prosperity could happen. He thinks that moment has slipped away. He wants to come back and fix it. Democrat Ethan Strimling says of LePage, a leopard can't change his spots. But he is concerned about how many times Mills has vetoed progressive priorities in recent weeks. Paul LePage has never lost a race, right? Let's, let's remember that. He has never lost a race. And so I don't think he's getting in this without thinking he can truly win it. I think that Mills can win it, but she's really going to have to work hard to make sure the Democrats are united behind her uh, and continue to sort of focus on the values that Maine people care about. The LePage campaign says he will not do any media interviews before a campaign kickoff in the fall, but will instead be listening to Maine people. All of our analysts predict a tight race, one that could be changed by third party or independent candidates. And it's worth noting that rank choice voting does not apply to the general election for governor.